wait a minute, 286 keywords from one blog post and it was created for free using AI? Hey guys, I'm Marcus, and I have been ranking sites on Google for the better part of 23 years now. And what you're about to see is going to seem way too simple, but it works time and time again. And this is not only super simple, but I can actually guarantee that if you follow the instructions exactly as I lay out in this video, you will rank on Google. You could use this on your blogs, your Facebook pages, YouTube videos, medium posts, Quora. Yeah, pretty much anything you wanna rank at the top of Google. And since we know that these search engine rankings are worth lots of money, this video is gonna be super important. So make sure you smash that like button and watch this entire video at least one time all the way through. Unless of course you wanna keep struggling to get rankings or maybe you just hate money. Now, first off, I wanna show you that this actually works. You can see here a website that I'm working on in the termite related niche. Now, I want you to pay close attention to the keywords that have a high amount in the CPC column. That means that advertisers are paying lots of money for this traffic, meaning that this blog post could potentially be worth thousands of dollars per month. Yeah, from one AI generated blog post. We could see I rank for stuff like termites in concrete or does termite damage wood need to be removed and even termite larva, which has over 2,800 searches a month. And it just keeps going and going and going. One of the keywords I actually started showing up on, which I didn't even try for, is what does a termite look like, which actually gets over 7,700 searches a month. And again, since advertisers are paying a lot of money for each and every click in this market, I can make some serious cash. And you can see here, if you were to search for some of these keywords in Google, you're gonna see our site ranking all over the place. Here's another website we're working on for SUV related keywords. You can see it's got all kinds of new rankings popping up every single day. And again, pay attention to that CPC column because that determines how much money we're gonna make from the traffic these search engine rankings generate. And remember, that's not a guarantee you're gonna get $19 per click. That just tells us on average what they're paying the search engines and advertisers and things like that. However, I will say the most I've ever made on one click using a paid click platform like AdSense was around $9. But that's the exception, not the rule. And you won't know what your results are gonna be till you actually try this out, which is a good thing that this is a very, very simple method. So first off, what we wanna do is make sure that the keywords we choose are based on something that pays lots of money. In this example that I'm gonna walk you through right now, we are gonna use the keyword airline credit cards. Now, if you were to search for this in your favorite keyword tool, you're gonna to see that the keyword difficulty is extremely hard. Meaning, no matter how good your article is or how many articles you get or whatever AI bot people are telling you about, you're not gonna rank for this keyword. But that doesn't really matter. Keep watching and you're gonna see why. But now, Back to the money. We can see here that airline credit cards has about 3,800 searches a month on Google and other search engines. We can also see that the average cost per click that advertisers are paying for this keyword is $9.33 for one click to their website. Wait a minute. So you're telling me that if I could get traffic for this word, it's worth lots of money? Yeah. And all I have to do is find non-competitive keywords, use AI, make one giant blog post, which you're gonna teach me in this video, and I can get paid? Yeah, keep watching. So armed with this data that we have a market that's worth a lot of money, what I'm gonna do now is try to find keywords that are low competition that lead to this same thing. And in order to do that, I'm gonna use the word fair alert. We can see that now the competition is starting to drop and there's quite a bit of keywords people are searching for. Next, I'm gonna take a look at the pages that rank on Google and find out what other keywords they're using. Something like Simply Miles, American Advantage Shopping, Chase Credit Cards, Mileage Run Delta, MX Business Platinum, and on and on we go. Now, while some of these keywords only have like 40 searches a month, 
Others are going to have like 300. And remember, we're going to use one blog post to find the magic in this market, get rankings, and make money. And then, of course, looking at a site like Airfare Watchdog, I can see different keywords that they have and isolate them by competition. So I could do KD three or less. And we could see they have like 60,000 keywords ranking on Google that would perfectly tie in to airline credit cards, which we know is worth money. And now it's time to get busy and make some content. First, I'm going to start with a prompt that I have written here. And don't worry, I'll have this prompt available for you at the end of this video. We're going to put, in the style of an enthusiastic travel blogger, since this one's about travel. If yours was about mortgages or running, you'd do something like running blogger. Write a 3,000 word article about how travel fair alert and fair error alert websites work with some example websites. And please be sure to include information about fair alerts for... Okay, now this is the hack you wanna pay close attention to. What I noticed when searching the word fair alert is that we had all different types of airlines. Delta, JetBlue, something about a hip monk, American, United, and on and on we go. What we wanna do is include many of these low competition keywords with the airline in our ChatGPT article. So I'm gonna add something here We'll put an enter and I'm going to paste a list of all these airlines. Then I'm going to say and add a couple others that you find as well. This is based on a simple hack we used to use on my mortgage websites. When I had a mortgage website, the very first one I put up, I noticed that I had certain cities and states on that mortgage website. So in addition to trying to rank for something like mortgage or mortgage calculator, I also ranked for mortgages plus California, mortgages plus Florida, plus Arizona, and on and on we go. So what happened was by including these other keywords here that were much less competitive than the keyword mortgage, I was able to get rankings for lots of stuff. Thus, one simple page or post on my website was able to rank for 50 or more keywords just by listing those states on my page. Now, this later became less effective and it was known as keyword stuffing because people were doing this with keywords where it was like mortgage, mortgage calculator, mortgage elephant, mortgage this, mortgage that, mortgage everything. And the search engines were like, no, we're not gonna do that. Just by having the word isn't gonna help you. But there is one way that this still works like a charm. And that is known as LSI, or Latent Semantic Indexing. What's gonna happen is a search engine is gonna look for things that are related. Now. Of course, mortgage is related to California, but so are earthquakes. So that's not a direct correlation. However, when we're looking at travel rewards, credit cards, low fare alerts, and different things related to airlines, well, of course these are relevant because they're the actual airlines that people are looking for. So we're going to put all this in the chat GPT and see what comes up. Unlocking the secrets of travel fare alerts, discovering unbelievable deals and glitches. Okay, I would probably change that and put some keywords in it and say something like, unlocking the secrets of travel deals. Very simple, to the point, and has several different keywords in it. Now let's take a look at what else we got. Welcome fellow travel enthusiasts to a captivating journey, and it goes on talking about this different stuff. Unearthing magic of fair alerts, looking pretty good. Talks about jet blue, looking good. Delta, excellent. Hip monk, American Airlines, United Airlines, Expedia, Southwest, and let's continue. Now it's doing kayak, other airlines, and different things like that. Now we can ask it, please expand on how these airlines have travel rewards, credit cards, and how a traveler could use them to save money. Please include specifics about each 
airline cards. All right, here we go. So now it's got Delta Sky Miles, JetBlue Travel. This is looking pretty darn good. And the cool thing about this is that each of these cards is actually searched for in Google. So I have another chance to get a lot more traffic. This one's got a thousand searches a month. Airlines Advantage has 26,000 searches a month. The Mileage Plus card gets over 79,000 searches a month. And some of these are actually getting close to the non-competitive range. So what's gonna happen here is instead of going for one keyword like fare alerts, we are actually going to add content based on related terms to try to rank for lots of stuff. And what we're gonna do is put this up trying to rank for maybe 20 or 30 different keywords or credit cards or different things like that. Then we are gonna watch where this ranks in Google once it gets picked up. You're gonna see that maybe you'll rank number 30 for a keyword you didn't even try for. What you're then going to do is take that number 30, if it gets good traffic, and try to boost that up to a top 10 ranking. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna be your guide to what Google thinks your site's about and what you can rank for in a super easy way. And utilizing this method, you're gonna show the search engines that you not only have really good content, but you're also posting on things that are relevant to the market that they're searching for, and they are gonna reward you with tons of traffic. If you wanna learn more about this method, check out the video in the description, and I'll also include that prompt I'm using.